The Australian Open women's draw, it's uh, it's the first slam of the year. It's happening. It's happening in a couple of days' time. And we've got a, a lot of big names playing, obviously. A lot of big names playing, but some big names were also pulled out. So let's go through the withdrawal list to start. So, withdrawers from the tournament, Bianca Andreescu, she's pulled out. Jen Brady, the finalist from last year, she's also pulled out. Mukova has pulled out. Also, Karolina Pushkova, the biggest name on the women's side in terms of ranking. The number four in the world, she pulled out. Podoroska also pulled out. And Serena Williams has also pulled out. But you can also add Venus to that list as well. All right, top of the draw here, we've got Barty. She takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Gracheva or then qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Martin Kova versus Davis. Winner of that match takes on either Potapova or the number 30 seed Georgie in the second round. Then we've got the 22nd seed Bencic versus Miladjenovic. That's a tough match. Winner of that match takes either a qualifier or Anisimova in the second round, who's in really good form right now in this over. So got to watch out for her. Then you got your Stremska versus Brengel. Winner of that match takes on either Osario or the number 13 seed Osaka. So you can see straight away, we've got some massive, massive matchups in this section of the draw. You've got Bencic versus Osaka. They've had some good rivalries in the past and some really good results for Bencic fans because Bencic seems to know how to beat Osaka. Very tough for the defending champ. And of course, Ash Barty at the top of the draw there. Could be Barty versus Bencic, could be Barty versus Osaka. Two favorites. I mean, that's going to change now. The favoritism will change because the draw is brutal. Second quarter of the draw, second section of the draw, we've got Jabor, the number nine seed, taking on Diaz. Winner of that match takes on either uh, Zanevska or Juvan in the second round. Then we've got Pera versus Alexandrova. Winner of that match takes on either Kalanini or the 21 seed Pagula in the second round, who was a uh, quarterfinalist of last year. Then we've got Kudamatova, the 28th seed, taking on Lou. Winner of that match takes on either Rousse or a Paulini in the second round. Then we've got Sasnovich versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Maria or the number eight seed, Sakari, uh, in the first round. So this is interesting because based on form, Kudamatova is in the best form out of all of these players. Maybe Sasnovich as well, being unseated. Sakari's in a little bit of weird form. Jabor's a little bit injured as well. So we don't know what to expect from the big names in this one. So maybe someone sneaky could get out of this. Third section of the draw now. This is the second quarter of the draw. We've got uh, Krejcikova, number four seed, taking on Pekovic. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Wong in the second round. Then we've got Vekic versus Risk. Interesting first round there. Winner of that match takes on either Schmidlova or the 26th seed, Ostapenko. Then we've got the number 24 seed, Azarenka, taking on Udvardi. Winner of that match takes on either Marcic or Teichman in the second round. Then we've got Putin Seva versus Tan. Winner of that match takes on either Ferro or the number 15 seed Svetolina. Down the bottom there, number 15 seed. So in this part of the draw, we have potentially Azarenka versus Svetolina. That could be happening in the third round. Also Krejcikova. People are sleeping on Krejcikova. People are sleeping on Krejcikova. I would be watching out for her. She could be a very dangerous player. So we've got the last part of the draw here. We've got Kennan taking on Madison Keys. Woo, that's a big first round. Uh, Keys versus Kennan, first round. Winner of that match takes on either Minen or Christian in the second round. Then we've got Van Udvank versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Wong or Goff in the second round. Then we've got Tormo versus Flipkins. Winner of that match takes on either Parry or Kostruk in the second round. Then we've got Zheng versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on one of the toughest first round matches between two players, Tomjanovic, taking on Bedosa, the number eight seed. So that's a very tough first round for Bedosa. Uh, Keys has been in good form. She might actually upset Ken in that first round. Of course, Goff's in good form. Uh, Bedosa's someone to watch out for. Uh, so this is an interesting part of the draw. I think the bottom half of the draw, because of course this section of the draw take on the Krejcikova section of the draw. Again, it kind of really opens the door for Krejcikova. I think Krejcikova has, uh, out of the top four seeds, at, at, at this stage has the best draw. The bottom half of the draw now, let's go through it. We've got Conservate, the number six seed taking on Siniakova. Winner of that match takes on either Towson or Sharma in the second round. Uh, then we've got Konju versus Rogers, dangerous unseated player that I mentioned at the start of the show. Uh, winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 27 seed Collins in the second round. Uh, then we've got the number 19 seed Mertens taking on Zvona Reva, who used to be, well, 10 years ago, she was one of the best players of the world. So uh, interesting first round there. Winner of that match takes on either Dodden or Bagu in the second round. Uh, then we've got Golovic versus Zhang. Winner of that match takes on either Diaz or the number 12 seed Rabakina in the second round. Now, Rabakin is the, the informed player in this part of the draw. Maybe Contivate as well. They're probably the two big names to watch out for in this section. But obviously, you can't you know can't count out players like Rogers, uh, Collins we haven't seen, but who knows what she can do. Mertens as well. But I would say that Rabakin and Contivate 
are the two big ones, uh, and not just because they're the seeds, the high seeds, but also because they're in good form. Rebecca had a great week last week. Contivate had a great week this week. All right, so this part of the draw is probably one of the most exciting parts of the draw, except for the top half. Or the top top section, right? This section of the draw, we've got the number 14 seed Halep. She takes on French in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Hadid Mayer or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Kovinich. Winner of that match takes on either Sloane Stevens or Emma Raducanu. I did not know Stevens was playing. Otherwise, I would have said that she was a dangerous unseeded player from the get. Two US Open champions are playing each other. That is a nightmare for Raducanu in the first round. Sloane Stevens is dangerous, especially because she just got married. She's probably loving life right now. She'll just come out here carefree, and that's dangerous. Uh, then you've got Zedenshek, the number 29 seed, taking on Ruse. Winner of that match takes on either Watson or Sharif in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier. Sorry, then we've got a qualifier versus Cornet. Winner of that match takes on either Burl or the number three seed Muguruza in the second round. So Muguruza, WTA Finals winner last year. Halep won a tournament last week. Of course, Raducanu. Everyone's going to keep an eye on her, especially if she plays Halep. That'd be a blockbuster. But I don't know if we're going to get it because Sloane Stevens is in the way. Maybe Stevens um, causes some upset there, but. Uh, Halep versus Muguruza could be very interesting as well. Uh, of course, that was a uh, semi-final from a couple of years ago. Let's go down to the bottom section, the bottom quarter of the draw. We've got Sviantek taking on a qualifier, number seven seed. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Saville or Pedersen in the second round. Then we've got Lynette versus Sevastova. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 25 seed, Kazakina in the second round. Then we've got the number 20 seed, Kvitova, taking on Kostea. Winner of that match takes on either Doi or Kachova in the second round. Then we've got Anderson versus Stoza, the last Australian Open singles matches for Stoza. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Bondair or the number 10 seed Pavlyuchenkova, who we haven't seen for a while, Pavlyuchenkova. She got COVID, pulled out of a bunch of events this week, so we'll see her for the first time uh, this week, coming up this week. Uh, so players to watch out for, I think Sviantek's got this very good draw. Uh, you know, Kazakhin is dangerous, and maybe the qualifiers that come through will find out if they're dangerous, but... I like Sviantek's draw. I think she's got a great draw, uh, Sviantek. All right, and then the last part of the draw, we've got Kerber, the number 16 seed, taking on Kanepi. Winner of that match takes on either Buzkova or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier taking on Garcia. Winner of that match takes on the wildcard Inglis, or the number 23 seed uh, Fernandez in the second round. Then we've got the number 31 seed Von Drusova taking on Hon. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Samson Nova in the second round. Then we've got Lee versus Wong. Winner of that match takes on either a wild card in Saunders or the number two seed Sabalenka in the second round. So straight away, Fernandez versus Kerber. Third round matchup. Great, great matchup there. Very interested to see how that plays out. Sabalenka versus Fernandez could be a fourth round as well. So again, it's, it's not easy, but... It's it, it's like this is too it's it's top heavy and bottom heavy these two like two the first section and the eighth section are very very stacked uh, in terms of who could get through and who could win and of course this section of the draw as well will take on the Sviantek section so we could be getting Sviantek versus Sabalenka we could be getting uh, Sviantek versus Fernandez uh, in the in the quarterfinals there which is something that we saw last week with uh, Sviantek versus Fan Fernandez there you go there you go. That is the women's draw for 2021. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win the draw, uh, win the match? Who's got the easiest part of the draw? I keep saying Sviantek. Uh, but again, I don't think you should sleep on Krejcikova. Um, Muguruza as well. She's got a pretty good uh, pretty good draw as well. But I, I don't know. I, I mean, Barty and, and Osaka, the two favorites, are going to clash early maybe. Maybe they're not the favorites anymore. Maybe it is Muguruza. Maybe it is Krejcikova. But... It's going to be very tough for uh, for Ash Barty and Naomi Osaka to win this trophy. They've got the toughest draws by far. Uh, Sabalenka's got a tough draw just because she hasn't played well. So we don't know what to expect from her. But let me know in the chat. Who do you think is going to win this draw? 